I'm going to show you how to make a cleansing green kitchery for when your gut is feeling not at its best or you need a little bit of a break. I'm using long grain brown rice and split yellow peas, but you can use any type of lentil. Get some coconut oil down in a skillet, and now we're going to make our spice paste with a little fresh ginger and then cumin, ground coriander, fenugreek, fennel seeds, and ground turmeric. There's no garlic or onion in this recipe, which is one of the reasons why it's so easy on the gut. And especially for low FODMAP folks, it is easy to modify to just use rice. Next, we're gonna add our rinsed rice and split peas or lentils and get it fully covered in the spice mixture. This recipe is central to Indian Ayurvedic medical traditions. And the idea is that you cook the rice and lentils or peas down until they're fully mushy, almost like a porridge. And that makes it much easier for your digestive system to handle. There's no animal protein in this recipe. I add a little bit of plants at the end to have a green twist. But if your digestion really, really needs a rest, you can just use the grains and the peas. Once our water is simmering, we're going to cover it and let it hang out for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's not fully mushy, but very, very soft. At this point, I'm going to add the non-traditional twist which is some finely chopped broccoli and that's going to need to cook for another five minutes until it itself is rather soft our next green elements are some grated zucchini and then we're also going to add some chopped spinach or kale i had kale on hand today but either works for all the exact measurements for this dish just visit my site feedmephoebe.com and for the low fodmap version that can be found in my book SIBO made simple once the greens are all wilted and cooked through you are ready to roll now all that's left are the garnishes I like to use a dollop of coconut yogurt. You can use regular yogurt, of course, or any plant-based yogurt of choice. Dairy-free choices are, of course, less taxing for the digestive system. And then we're going to top with a little bit of cilantro, which is an excellent chelating agent. And since this exercise is all about giving our digestive system, including our liver, a little break, I highly recommend it. Now all that's left is to enjoy this satisfying meal for your gut.